Y'all put your hands together for the thinking man's comic, Mr. Johnny. Cool. How y'all doing today? Uh, okay, so we have one birthday girl here. Who's the other? Where's... Right, right there. My birthday's April 10th, so fellow Aries. Fantastic. I'm, fantastic. I'm so excited. I just really am. Two more Aries in the building, this is fantastic. Okay. Uh, so, so it's today? Today. Today. And, and you're today too? So this is an actual birthday. Well, happy birthday. Uh, by the way, give yourselves a round of applause for supporting my economy. Fantastic. I love it. Now, I've actually not done uh, comedy for a little while because I was filming a couple of movies, and so this is my first time on stage in a couple of months, okay? So, I'm back. Oh, you know, and, and filming the movie, the, the weird thing is, you know, all those really, really good-looking people, they actually do exist. They do. And, but you don't see them out in the wild, you know, like over at Starbucks, so I'm convinced that they're space aliens. I just, I just am. You know, I, and, and they're not the only ones that are space aliens, by the way. So is Steve Jobs. <laughs> Technology, right, that, that no one has ever seen before. And, and in addition to that, in addition to that, the movie uh, Independence Day, it's Apple OS compatible, Mothership was, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. But that's the okay. Uh, my name is Johnny Corn. Uh, a little bit about me. I was born Irish and Catholic. As, as a good Catholic, I tell you, I have to give up something for Lent. So this year, I gave up my New Year's resolution. <laughs> now, growing up Catholic was, was fantastic because I got the holidays off you know, from school. So I thought that was fantastic. I even got the really dumb holidays off, like Columbus Day. And here's, the, here's the thing about Columbus. He gets a holiday for getting lost. He's trying to find a spy shot to India, right? Ends up in the Caribbean. Slightly off course, huh? Typical man, he didn't ask directions. All he had to do, go into any 7-Eleven and they could have told him where India was. Personally, I want to come out with the Columbus GPS, you know? It sends you where you never intended to go. Formerly Apple Maps. That's not the only holiday that doesn't make any sense to me, you know? Groundhog Day. Okay, here's the thing. People deny the science of climate change, and they accept weather forecasts from a rodent. Okay. okay. We have, uh, you know, 4th of July, and there's nothing more American than buying a foreign car on the 4th of July. So, so does that. Thanksgiving. Here's the thing about Thanksgiving. Thankful for what you have, I'm fantastic. That's fantastic. I, I love that. I dig it. But here's the thing. The story makes no sense. It's about these white people. Because it's always about white people, isn't it? Yeah, it's about these white people that move into the neighborhood and, and, and they're hungry. So the Indian people, they just felt sorry for them, so they fed them. And you know what they say? Once you feed them, they'll never go away. That's why we're still here. We, we never talk about the second Thanksgiving, right? The second Thanksgiving is where the Indian people are cold and the white people get blankets. Too soon for a smallpox show? It's been like 200 years since the Trail of Tears. All right, let's move on to, to, to Christmas. Okay, any parents in the audience here? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, this is on you. You tell your kids all year long, don't talk to strangers, and then you sit them on Santa's lap and wonder why they cry? Really? Is it that or is it because Santa's just a wee bit creepy? I mean, who else could get away with saying stuff like, so, I'm not the little girl on the Tell Santa what you really want. Have you been naughty? Do you want to be my nice list? Are you a uh, ho ho ho? Do you want me to fill your stocking with something yummy? <laughs> You know, I've been watching you. I know when you're sleeping. And I know when you're awake. 
It's creepy, right? Almost as creepy as Jared. Here's the thing about Jared. Jared from, from Subway, he gets sentenced uh, 6 to 12 for um, child porn charges, right? And, and, and being a pedophile. And here's the thing, that's ironic because that's his preferred age range. I'm just saying. Yeah. Any, anybody, uh, who, who wants to talk about the Trump in the room? Anyone want to talk about the Trump in the room? Yeah, see, here, here's the thing about Donald Trump. He wants to build a wall so big that you can see it from outer space. I have a strange feeling Canada's going to build a wall to keep the Americans out if he gets elected. But, but here's the thing. He is the gonorrhea of presidential politics. Okay. Right, let me explain this. First, you guys have the... Um, it's fun at first, it's fun, right? It's fun. And then, then you move on, and a little bit while, you, you go like, oh, something's wrong, but you ignore it. Think okay? Thinking it's gonna go away. Right now, we're at the pissing razor blade stage. All we have to do is take antibiotics, and we'll be cured by election time. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I will leave you guys with this thought for the day. I mean, you guys have been awesome, by the way. You're so awesome, I want to take you home with me, but I can't, you know. But I'll tell you what, I bought a timeshare. You're all invited. It's in Syria. I got a really good deal. Bad news is in an ISIS controlled territory. The good news is it was only bombed once. So that's most of his walls. Just saying. I'll be you guys with <laughs> Took you a minute. It's fantastic. I'll leave you guys with this thought of the day. The best protection against identity theft is bad credit. <laughs> I'm Johnny Court, have a great tomorrow. He's ain't gonna do a true headline, he gonna do 45 minutes because I'm cut show for time. But actually, this dude right here, he's been an idiot, and like I say, he from Oakland, he's a veteran. He been doing comedy, like I say, about 20 years. And um, when I saw him, I was uh, I was on timeout, I was on vacation. Black people know what that means. We say I'm on vacation?